when you're coming to verse 7, that he, we were gentle among you. When he came alongside them, when you got to know him, it was a different person altogether. The first person that came to mind when I thought about this was, was Dr. Payson. Because so many times, because of the, of the way he would declare the truth, just the way he would declare it, oh, people would insinuate from that that he was a harsh man. And you could not get a more gentlemanly-like character in your home. You sit alongside. Of all the free church ministers I have ever met, none has been more of an encourager than Dr. Paisley. He was, he was an encourager. He would sit, before I went to Australia, he wanted to see me. And I went in along, sat in a little room with him and another minister. And he just, the only reason he wanted to see me was to encourage me. He was, he was gentle. He was a big gentleman who just wanted to encourage God's people and was always about the business of being a Barnabas. And yet you see him in the pulpit thundering the Word of God forth. You could insinuate things, you could assume things, you could imagine he was some kind of harsh character, but you would be completely wrong. And it was the same with Paul. Paul would come in. He would be straight. He would be direct. He is preaching that Christ, the, the Christ that's looked for by the Jew, is indeed this Jesus of Nazareth arguing from the Scriptures boldly, courageously, every day. But when you got alongside him, we were gentle among you. Gentle. 